Oh, we got a snapping turtle, all right. Oh my God. Yeah, don't bite me. Don't bite us. We love snapping turtles. I love snapping turtles. Whoa, what was that? Whoa! <laughs> so fun. What's that? Whoa! Ah! 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 Touch the head. Oh boy, we are here at Fred's house again, hanging out with Brooke. And Brooke, what what am I doing today? <laughs> we have a lot of snappers in here. Okay. Um, and it's making feeding time a little bit complicated. All right. So I was hoping you got the big giant pond. Yeah. Why don't we share some of our snappers? That with you? sounds great. I love snapping turtles. They were like the first turtle that I ever fell in love with in Long Island. And it was my first turtle pet. I found a little baby snapping turtle, and it was so cool to watch them grow up and turn into the monsters they become. Now, I have to admit, you told me to bring bins. I forgot them. You told me to bring a net. Forgot that too. And I forgot my water shoes. So I'm going to be getting in here uh, barefoot, which will be fun and challenging. And I think uh, we'll put to the test, are snapping turtles really more docile in the water? We'll find out if I keep all my toes. Um, so we got to sex some because you're going to keep a bunch of the females, right? Yeah, I, I like my girls. Okay, you got it. I don't want to take your girls from you, but I, I will get in and we will start. Uh, we're going to have to sex them. So this is going to be fun. So we're going to get in the mud. Are, are you coming in or what? I'll come in. All right, cool. I know you're not afraid of this stuff. We'll grab this first one and see what's going on. Male, female. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, probably be wise. I don't have shoes that I'm willing to uh, sacrifice to this. All right, I'll just start playing with turtles here. Um, hi, guys. So, yeah, I'm... Oh, gosh, I hope I don't get bit by anything. This would stink. Oh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a snapping turtle, all right. Oh, oh my God, a fat and happy snapper. Oh, my gosh. Let's flip her over. It looks like... That is, guys, check it out. We're flipping it over. It looks like a female. The vent is pretty much close to the plastron. So that's a girl. And uh, we don't want no trouble with her, okay? I just wanted to look at you, sweetie. So, uh, yeah, see you in a minute. Now, this is kind of sketchy, guys. i got to be honest with you. I got nice little feet here. We don't want to lose them. Uh, maybe I should take a stick and start poking on the ground here in front of me. See if I can feel anything. Oh, brother. What am I doing? This actually used to be the, um, this used to be the saltwater crocodile habitat. And as you can see now, it is not a saltwater crocodile habitat anymore. I would not be getting in the water with a crocodile. Um, but I will look for snapping turtles all day long. So you can see that she's so big, I'm just gonna feel with my feet. What's that? That's a pine cone. Oh, this is sketchy. I don't feel at all safe. But, uh, you know, gotta have a little adventure in your life. Oh, we gotta see how many snappers are actually in here. This is very sketchy, Brooke. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I don't know what's in here. So far, I still have all my toes. But now that you got shoes, you can be a little bit braver than me. Did you check this out? I did not check that. Oh, you think it's in there? You might be some in there? Yeah, there's one right in there. Get out of here. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought they were all as big as her. Let's no, go. Some, uh, Holy we moved all the snappers together so we could give them more attention. Uh, um, so some of these came from the Cayman pits. Oh, okay. But we now realize it's too many snappers. Too many snappers. Well, we love snapping turtles. Hold on, little one. Oh. Hold on, little one. That big one's a female. Okay. This one looks like a female also, but let's put her in. Yeah, you... We'll just kind of put them in and collect them all up. But yeah, so basically we're looking for the vent to be closer to the plastron. And once we get a male, I'll be able to show everyone what a male looks like. So we're going to systematic... Oh, wait, wait. What's this? What's this? I stepped right on somebody. I hope I got the right side. Oh, God. Ooh, I was grabbing the wrong side. 
Hey, but I stepped right on it and it didn't even snap at me. How cool is that? Awesome. It looks like one of the ones from the Cayman Pets. Yep, and it looks like a female. Okay, another female. So, wow, that was pretty crazy. I stepped right on it. <laughs> Not exactly something you'd anticipate doing here. I love snapping turtles. They're so cool. I wish we had a rake. I could rake this out. I could grab a rake. Might as well. I mean, okay. I'll be back. Okay. It's always sketchy too when you step on the turtle. Then you have to guess what side's the head and what side is the tail. Um, if I make it out of this unscathed, I am going to be very happy. It's my fault for not bringing the proper uh, attire. But uh, you guys may get a good laugh out of something here in a minute. I am really, it feels like I'm stomping grapes. But uh, instead I'm stomping for snappers. Oh boy, that's sketchy. Stomping, stomping, stomping. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. There's a lot of uh, vegetation on the bottom here. A lot of decaying vegetation, which of course, snapping turtles absolutely love this kind of water. And the way Fred had it set up is that water comes on a timer and it overflows. But without the crocodilians in here to kind of excavate the debris, they would kind of dig holes and move the debris out to the sides. And without them doing that, all these pine needles have really filled this place up and made it really cool habitat for the snapping turtles. Oh my gosh. Am I a chicken? I don't know. I think if I were a chicken, I wouldn't even, whoa, what was that? Yeah, there's fish in here, right? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe? I'm getting close to her head. Yeah, there are fish. I'm looking at fish. That's what it was. I felt the fish and it freaked me out. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, there's tilapia in here. At least she's big enough to keep an eye on her. Sure smells like turtles in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, fun times at the Grunwalds. Never a dull moment. I'm glad you keep me entertained just like your grandfather. Oh, there's plenty of Oh, I got something. Is it a coconut or a tur it's it's turtley. Um again, please don't get bit, Kenan. Oh, look at this. No, it's, it's a cooter. <laughs> How oh. funny. Oh, all right. Well, do you want it in here or out of here? Okay, oh, I got something else. I got something else big. Um, oh gosh, I don't, I don't know. Give me that rake, this thing's so big, I don't know what it is. I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna risk a finger. Hold on, I think it's a rock. Oh yeah, it's a rock that's embedded in the, uh, okay, no problem. There goes that, that slider. So we would do this as kids, man. I would, uh, I'd go up into the ponds in the Northeast in my native Long Island, and I'd be looking for snapping turtles all the time. But of course I wouldn't have bare feet. Man, I think using the rake. Oh, look at how brave you are. Just chucking, chucking the stuff all over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the rake here. See if I can dredge up any reptilians here here we go so we're doing a bit of a cleaning and a capture That um, big female common almost got me the other day. Big female common snapper? Yeah. She uh, almost got you? What happened? I was being dumb. Oh, yeah? I went to, uh, I was going to hand her a piece of crock chow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Me why I don't do that. Oh, God. What's this? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Nope. I keep my uh, 
I'm keeping my toes curled in. <laughs> it's horrible. Remember guys, bravery is being afraid of something, but doing it anyway. Holy smokes. There's the big lady. You've become a lot more brave since we've known you. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, Nothing. Good. It's funny how you can have this many turtles in an area, but they can hide so well. It's amazing. Wait, I got something. I got something. I definitely got a snapper. What side is it? Oh, Christ. Which way is he moving? This way. Whoa! <laughs> That's so fun. This is fun. We're snapping. Oh, let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, give me a little tail. I won't pick you up by it. Oh, that's a boy. That's a boy. See that? So that, hold on. I'm going to try and show you guys. Put him in here. But his vent is a lot thicker and it's kind of at the edge there. Okay. You got one? What do you got? Something. All right. Oh. oh, look out. This guy's going to make a break for it. Oh, no, you don't. Holy smokes. You got it? Oh, I'm coming. We'll wrangle him up. I think all I did was make a mat. Great. Thanks for making a mat. Wait, 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 I feel wait. Like he went that way. I feel like you're right. I got him. I don't know which. I think, well, wait. If he's going that way. Oh, shit. I just hit him. He went over here. He's under this guy's now. He went that way. It's a safe to assume he's he's agitated the other oh, there are fish everywhere. My gosh. What's that? Whoa, that's the head of the ah! <laughs> ah! I touched the head! I touched the head of the turtle! Good grief! <sighs> oh, look at the size of that spider, Kevin. Where? Look at how big that thing is. Oh, geez, please. That's what we're... Oh, great. That's lovely. Are you afraid of spiders, Brooke? No, I'm not. I just thought that was interesting. Oh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Thanks for showing off. I know my wife would be freaking out about this whole thing right now. I'm not a spider person. Uh, wow. That was crazy. I touched a turtle head. You don't want to touch turtle head sometimes, people. Uh, all right. Enough joking around. Where are we and where is he? Okay. I think he went off into this corner, Brooke. I'm going. I'm going for it. I'm going in the corner here. Oh. Hey, listen. If you feel brave, go in and grab him. Oh, there it is. There he is. And I see his head. Okay, here, grab this. I think, see what this is. Oh my gosh, I touched his head. I didn't even know it. Oh my gosh, let's see, boy or a girl? Boy or a girl? It looks like a girl. Oh, woo. And this is the right way to hold a snapping turtle, by the way. You want to grab them by the back of the carapace. They can't grab you here. And uh, my goodness, yeah, safe way to hold them without damaging these guys. Let's put this one in. Holy Toledo. As always, there are surprises here. Oh, get in there. oh my gosh, I gotta put a, a weight on this thing. Thanks for the camera work, Brooke. You still think there are more snappers in there? Uh, All right, we'll keep looking. I know you guys might be having as much fun as I am. It's always fun when you grab a turtle. It's like, I don't know, when you're in the mud, you're looking for turtles. It's kind of fun. It's like being a kid again, you know? It looks like I never grew up. Just hanging out, doing the same thing I've been doing for the last, oh, I don't know, 45 years or so. Shh, kind of old, kind of old people. But you know what keeps you young? Looking for turtles. Here we go. Here's snapping turtle. She's just locked and loaded right there. She is locked and loaded. Oh, 
I am gonna have to spray myself off with the hose. We got a hose. Nice. What is that? What is this? Jesus. I hit a twig and I get sketched out. I'm twigging on the, what's that? Is that my, is that that little lady again? There she is, that's that little cuter. Little cuter. Next time we come to do something like this, I'll bring my sump pump. Oh, I have one. Oh yeah? Well, this is kind of fun. You know, hindsight's 2020. Right? That's right, yeah. I'd be a lot braver with my rubber boots too. This is a cement pond, so there is, but there's a lot of mud, a lot of mud on the bottom. So it's really nice for these snappers. They love burrowing in it. Most of the time these guys, oh, what's this? Most of the time the snappers lay motionless and they wait for something to kind of go by them and nab it. So that's their kind of ambush predators, but then they'll also move around at night and they kind of wander around the shoreline looking for invertebrates, fish, basically anything they can eat. These guys will eat other turtles. They're pretty indiscriminate. So they are not, oh, that's her again. It's that, I keep getting that cooter every time I come over here. All right. Whew. All right. I don't know guys. We've been all over this pond. I'm going to try in here a little bit. Just to double check. But I don't think we got any others. Oh, holy smokes. Well, it looked like one male and three females, right? Yeah. I think that's what we got. But you wanted to keep some of them gals. You can take the uh, smaller ones. They came out of the um, Cayman enclosures. Cayman enclosure, yeah. All right, cool. Maybe we'll put them back in with the Cayman. Maybe. That could be fun. They're small enough. They'd like Cayman Creek. Give it one more old pass through here. Oof. Guys, how cool is this? We just walked around with a bunch of snapping turtles in here. And I think it's safe to say that the old wives tale is true that a snapping turtle isn't so aggressive when they're in the water. But as soon as we pull them out, they start snapping, they start getting upset. Uh, but hey, so good, so far so good. I think I'm not gonna push my luck with my little feetsies. Look at a little baby basilisk right there. See that? That's a little baby basilisk. Let's have a look at what we got. And uh, Brooke, you tell me what I'm taking and what uh, you're keeping. Let's see. All right. So I think we had a small, go ahead, grab it we'll from keep, we'll keep that keep one. Her. All right, let's lift her up and have a look at her. Oh, gosh. Oh yeah. Yep, that's a girl. All right, young lady, you go back into your little swampy paradise. And then we'll have a look over here. I think this was, that's the male. Okay. All right, we'll keep a male. I'll keep being careful of her. Don't hurt her. And then you want the bigger one? Uh, you can take all three. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Those three, whoa. At least those two came from the Cayman enclosure. All right, cool. So that, that's pretty cool. I yeah. love them. Thank you so much. I think I'll put them in Cayman Creek, to be perfectly honest, at least for a while. Yeah. Get them bigger, and then uh, they can go live in the big pond with other snapping turtles. Yeah. How cool is that? So um, Cayman, uh, or actually the common snapping turtle in all subspecies, they're one of the most wide-ranging turtles. They actually go from Nova Scotia down all the way uh, in southern Canada to the southern tip of the United States, which is where we are in Florida. They go west, almost to the Rockies, uh, through Texas, down through Central America. Oh gosh, wow, you see how fast they are? Down through Central America. And uh, yeah, so they have a very wide range. We're gonna go ahead and put these guys in here and I'll go ahead and see you guys in a moment uh, when I drive home. But thanks, Brooke, I really appreciate it. I'm always happy to help out here. Yeah. I'm Good happy time. To have to help. Oh man, I'm gonna spray off, get presentable, and I'll see you guys back at the camp where we'll put these animals in their new home with their old friends. How cool! Yeah. See you guys. Next level. All right, we are back home here at Cayman Creek, and uh, this place is awesome, guys. I'm loving it. 
I had to actually turn on the pump to stir some of the muck up and filter it out. So we're gonna kinda be agitating this because I've got the, the flow pump moving right now. But we're gonna release these guys into this pool. But the 1.2 or one male and two females are actually gonna go ahead and they're gonna live in this section of the pond, of the creek rather. Uh, it's the largest. There's plenty of places for them to hide in the uh, input bay, in the deep water here, and of course in this section. Now some of these cichlids are going to have to look out because there are going to be some snapping turtles in here. But uh, I like creating a really cool ecosystem. So look at how cool this is, guys. Oh, and she's going to be a wild one, I tell you. Oh my gosh, yeah, don't bite me. Don't bite us. Don't do it. My goodness. So this is one of the females. Here goes our first one. We're going to go ahead and put her in, in her new home. Go on in, little one very very cool man that is awesome someone's trying to call me here and uh, i'll have to call them back here in a moment but look at that right there going to search out into the cave no problem very very cool all right let's check this one out here comes our next female easy does it lady oh careful yep it's another gal we're gonna put her in here we go which way is she gonna go yep looking for cover how awesome is that letting a breath out so she's in here and it's cool that we've got some snapping turtles in here they're awesome animals i love snappers and they're gonna be just the right size to keep in cayman creek and once they get bigger they'll graduate into the big pond oh, oh you're okay you're okay buddy no problem don't be afraid get on in there it's your new home welcome oh yeah the cool thing is there's plenty of places for these fish to hide out and uh, I think it'll be pretty pretty cool situation to have these snappers in here. I already have the two uh, spotted uh, river turtles in here and uh, of course the Mexican musk turtles are also fish eaters so it is what it is. It's an ecosystem. These guys should all do very well here and uh, my goodness man pretty excited about having some snapping turtles from Fred's house here back with the caimans because as you heard Brooke say these guys actually lived with the caiman and uh, now they're back together the whole family's back together again so it's a pretty unique and awesome situation I'm loving it I just love having these animals here at the camp and especially since they are snapping turtles which are two animals that or a species of turtle that I was always into as a boy so these guys are awesome man I absolutely love it you could just see this male, he's going to be crawling around looking for a place to hide. And then right here in the cave, already we've got a female found the cave out. Uh, so there's definitely places for these guys to feel at home. Plenty of snails for them to eat. It's really, really a cool setup. So I'm, I'm super pumped to have these guys hanging out. They'll wander on land when it rains and uh, we might see them basking from time to time. These guys are a great species, really, really hardy and uh, they'll do just absolutely fine. The, the caiman won't mess with them at all as these guys are much too big to be viewed as any kind of food. But these uh, blue Acara cichlid, they're gonna have to keep their eyes open on these uh, turtles right here. So who knows how long I'll keep them in here. If I notice that the fish are disappearing, uh, I'll definitely you know, go ahead and make sure we move them out. But we've already got, if you look right here, two little babies two little babies are already been spawned from these large ones so that's really great news so the fish are already reproducing here in cayman creek and uh, i love it absolutely love it so we'll just keep these snapping turtles really nice and well fed and that should keep them uh, away from the fish believe it or not so there you have it we got some snapping turtles in cayman creek here awesome day today got to hang out with brooke it's always fun to go over there and help out um and just honored that they still think of me um as a place that they want some of their animals to go because as you know really loved fred and it's awesome to just continue working with his granddaughter whom i've known since she's 11 so really cool stuff all right everyone there you go there's a video animals are doing great here we're going to clean up cayman creek we're going to let it just kind of move around and uh, these guys are gonna explore Cayman Creek. So that is fantastic. 
So there you have it, everybody. More reptiles for the camp, really keeping these enclosures happy. We also have a Lobo wandering around out back. I gotta get to him as well. And uh, I gotta clean off because I stink pretty bad. If you wanna watch more videos, go ahead. There's plenty of them on this channel. And uh, you can see Cayman Creek evolving with every video. We'll see you guys soon, bye.